All right, before we begin, I want to clear up on one thing. This series is not a tutorial on the new features in Angular 5. Learning about the changes will hardly take you a day. My intention with this series is to have it like a crash course for a complete beginner. So a person new to Angular itself and not necessarily the latest version will find it useful. So this series will cover all the main concepts in Angular and not just the changes from a particular version. I just want to give you guys a heads up on what to expect because the last thing I want is for someone who is an Angular expert to sit through these videos. All right then, in this video, let's take a look at the prerequisites for learning Angular and also set up our dev environment. Now to get started with Angular, you need to know the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Angular, however, makes use of TypeScript. So a very basic knowledge of TypeScript makes a lot of difference. You can still follow the videos as TypeScript is pretty simple to learn if you know JavaScript, but I would recommend you go through the ES2015 and TypeScript series on my channel before getting started with Angular. All right, now let's set up our dev environment. To start building Angular apps, we need Node and NPM, Angular CLI, and a text editor like Visual Studio Code. So the first thing you need to do is install Node.js. Open your browser and go to www.nodejs.org and install the latest stable release. When you install Node, NPM, which is the Node Package Manager, also will be installed. Once you have Node.js installed, open a command prompt and type the commands node-v and npm-v. Both the commands, if Node is successfully installed, return the respective versions. So right now, I have Node with a version of 8.9.1 and npm with a version of 5.5.1. Now that we have npm also installed, our next step is to install the Angular CLI. Now for those who are unaware of what Angular CLI is, it is basically a command line interface for Angular. It allows you to generate building blocks of your Angular application by just typing out the commands. It makes your development quicker and easier and all this while following the best practices. You don't really have to worry if you don't know Angular CLI because all you need to know is a couple of commands which I will explain throughout the series. But if at all you're curious to learn more about Angular CLI, I have a series in the channel and I'll have a link at the end of this video. All right, so to install Angular CLI, in your command prompt, enter the command npm install dash g for global at angular slash CLI. This will globally install Angular CLI. Now I already have Angular CLI installed, so to check my current version of Angular CLI, I can run the command ng-v. Now if you don't get the same display as me, that is this Angular CLI word art, make sure you add Angular CLI to the path environment variable. Now that we have node, npm, and Angular CLI installed, the final step is to make sure you have an editor of your choice. For this series, I will be using Visual Studio Code, but feel free to use any editor that you're comfortable with. All right, now that we have everything in place, let's create a Hello World Angular application in the next video.